This is News 4 Nashville. Welcome to WSMB 410. I'm Marius Payne. And I'm Tracy Cornett. Tonight, Nashville leaders are looking for solutions to violent crime. They met tonight to talk about crime in North Nashville. Now, the city's plan is to spend thousands of dollars on community safety. And tonight, city leaders heard from organizations applying for some of that grant money. Our Danielle Jackson finds out where things stand with the program and how it could help neighborhoods in need. It is an epidemic. It is, I believe, truly something that goes on from the mental state, but it's going to take us all. we got to get everybody involved. Ron Johnson, the city's community safety director, has a passion for curbing violence in Music City. I'm a victim of losing someone, so I know truly how it feels. You know, my mom was murdered in, in Memphis. Tackling violence to him means starting with everyone, no matter how young or old. So someone knows someone that knows someone that may be a perpetuator of violence. If someone know that person or those people, they may be the one that can influence them to not be the one to perpetuate the violence. Thursday night, Mayor Cooper's Community Safety Board held a meeting inside of City Hall. The board heard from two local organizations pitching initiatives to reduce violence. The North Nashville Violence Interruption Pilot Program grant is $750,000 a year. The advisory board will hear from three organizations and they will pick two. Each will receive $375,000 a year for two years. The president and CEO of the organization called Why We Can't Wait Incorporated plans to use education as its main tactic. Education really provides a way out of poverty. It always has, it always will. It, it will put you at another level uh, of thinking, another level of doing things, and just a way of, of uh, providing for the next generation in your family. You, you start something new when you're educated. The group is developing a men's initiative, which is a mentorship program for sophomores and juniors at Tennessee State University to mentor Pearl Cone High students. Next week, the advisory board will hear from Gideon's Army. For WSMV4, I'm Danielle Jackson. Tonight,